Christmas either gonna be the place we have a lot of fun or the place my mom kills me because she wakes up. Let's get started. <laughs> I guess it's my turn now because everyone else is fine except for me. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Oh my god, happy new year first of all. That's crazy. I say it's crazy because whenever I check all my medication expiration dates, they all say 2024 March for some reason. It's crazy that I have to throw all of those away in two months because when I first purchased them, 2024 is like a long time away, but we're living in it now. Oh my god. Um, and we're starting the new year off with a cold. I don't know if you can tell by my voice. So my dad turned on this humidifier for me and I need to take this medication before I go to bed. And on top of all that, because I've been so sick, my room has been a mess because I've been just rotting away in my bed. I just got back from Cabo's. I don't know if you can tell, but I think I have tanned quite a bit. It was really good. I, it was such a relaxing time. But for a very long time, I was thinking like, what kind of video do I want to start off this new year with? Today's video, I wanted to film like a sleepover type of content where you guys can just chill with me all night. We're gonna be cooking, we're gonna be eating, we're gonna be watching Singles Inferno season three because I just heard that there's a really toxic guy on the show and I just wanna check it out. I got all these snacks before Christmas because I wanted to eat it on Christmas day, but obviously I ended up not. I believe these are brownie cookies. I've never tried them before, but I just got it because of the face. It looks so freaking funny. I can already tell that the packaging is really cute. Ooh, and these are really good. They're just like, they're these little snacks. I would like to give a huge thank you to Audible for being the sponsor of this portion of the video because they have been helping me save so much time. So being a university student, we often get assigned a lot of readings to do. But thanks to Audible, I can now listen to the titles while I juggle other life responsibilities. And now that it's finally 2024, it is on my bucket list to become more productive, more knowledgeable, and to become physically healthy. And Audible can help us reach these goals by allowing us to kill two birds with one stone. Like for example, while you're working out, you can listen to like a wellness podcast or listen to the titles that you were assigned in class. I've been listening to one of my all-time favorite titles called The Sapiens and I already have the hard copy of this title I am a huge fan so I've been just listening to it in my free time and it's been going great Get this, all new members can get a free audible trial by clicking the link in my bio or texting the code DAISYC to 500-500 Thank you so much to Audible once again for making my student life so much easier Love you I got this makeup brush kit from Morphe for my Christmas present from my mom, but it doesn't come with like a little brush holder. So I'm gonna be putting them all in this Wallace and Girl makeup. It's so freaking cute. It's been a hassle just like opening it up every time I do my makeup. So I'm gonna transfer everything into the cup. <laughs>
was so hot. But voila! I had to put my cup like this because I was—I knew I was gonna spill it everywhere. Big chunk of cheese. It's just me, or I feel like after the first season, a lot of the contestants try to recreate the first season. I mean, which is which isn't like odd. I feel like it happens with any show, but everyone's like the same. There's like the hot, there's always that one hot girl and the one innocent girl. Oh my god, this is so spicy. <laughs> it's so hot. But having Dex as one of the MCs is kind of funny. And I feel like a lot of the contestants now that come on the show, their main intention is to become a celebrity, so it doesn't really feel like a dating show anymore. You know, it just feels like a platform where you can just blow up and dip. <laughs> For dessert, I'm having this matcha pibigo. Pibigo is like a red bean. <coughs> pibigo is known as like the old granny taste ice cream flavor in Korea because not a lot of young people like it. It's like red bean ice cream, but I love it. My lips are hurting so bad. What I absolutely love about my room is that it has little pieces here and there that remind me of the times that brought me great happiness. Like for example, we have this little heart thing that I got from Mexico a couple of days ago. On my desk, we have this teacup that I got from Japan. January 1st, I bought this digital camera off of Kijiji. Are there grandchildren telling these old people that digital cameras are a trend now and that they should just up the price? Because I swear to God, even there's some for like 300 and I'm like, that's absolutely insane. <laughs> My friend got it off of this Instagram handle and she paid 120. Don't do that. Go to a thrift store or ask your grandparents, I'm sure. Someone around you, or even your neighbors. <laughs> Why do I look like that?
Oh my gosh, I haven't been this tan since I was like in grade 5 literally. Um, and I'm sick. I'm very sick. My dad was very, very sick. <laughs> Why do I talk like a 7 year old? But I guess it's my turn now because everyone else is fine except for me. Started reading this new book called Think Again. I'll bring it right now. Ta -da. It made me cry. I'm not saying it's an emotional book, it's not. I've been like just overwhelmed with how I want to live my life because every year on the first day of January, I think it's a time when everyone, you know, thinks about, reflects and thinks about how they want to live moving forward. And I felt very stagnant. Um, I don't know how I want to live my life. And I think that's okay. We're freaking, like we're in our 20s, you know? Like we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what our plans are like some people do and good for them but majority of us don't and i've come to terms that it's okay my priorities have definitely changed and everything changed so i feel like the transition from me going from a very high achiever academically to being like a content creator has honestly created some sort of like an identity crisis for me and I feel like it hits me and then it kind of fades away and hits me and fades away it's not physically draining it's it's the things that I say to myself and yeah what was I even talking about I really have to show you guys this, but look how freaking cute the packaging is. They're all different. Okay, I need to show you this special one. Oh my god, look at this. Like, look at that. I'm literally gonna cherish this one forever. Not gonna eat it. My mom came into my room earlier and she was like, go to sleep. But I need to go downstairs to get milk. So my plan is to wait like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll go downstairs, hoping that she'll be asleep by then. <laughs> So my mom didn't wake up and the food looks really good It, it kind of exploded, but it's okay. It's like a little crispy on no, it's soggy, but it's okay. It looks really good satisfied and I need sleep additional New Year's resolution stop talking like a seven-year-old boy Daisy woke up at 11 o'clock I ain't got no job what the hell should I do today this feel like some I don't give a fuck oh my god shut the fuck up I ain't hearing what you gotta say 